Everybody. You're all very welcome to Temple Point Turnings. I'm Steve. Uh, let me just sort out my old phone in my pocket falling out. Don't want the owner falling on the floor now, do I? <sighs> How are we, everybody? Well, that was a that was a hectic few uh, few minutes, half an hour, whatever. Twenty minutes, fifteen minutes. I don't know. Uh, apparently, Streamyard has a glitch at the moment. And uh, it deletes your stream yard. <laughs> Go figure. So, yes, I was uh, now I could have deleted it myself because I was doing some test runs with uh, Rob um, la uh, earlier on to help him with his live feed because he's doing a live show or a live demonstration later. And I was helping him make sure cameras and stuff was right. And um, I could have deleted it. I don't think I did, though. I think um, maybe StreamYard was acting the maggot. But anyway, hello, how are you? You're all very welcome to a very, very windy creator van in the west coast of Sligo, or island, should I say. Uh, we have snow and sleet, and we have the wind blowing, and the vans are rocking, so by all means, you can come knocking. Um, I shall start by saying hello and Thank you to my earworm, the lovely Leona. Thank you very much for being the lovely earworm this evening, Leona. And uh, I should do some thank yous very quickly. Are you ready, Leona? Okay, let's go. Some thank you. I mean, some hellos even. Thank you. Thank you to everybody. But hellos... Hellos, yeah. I'm going to thank the bananas in a minute when I put the banana thing up, but I, I had that in my head. Just, just ignore me. It's been an it's been an evening. It's been a day. I was back at work today. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's just say hello to everyone. Hi, Robert, Tommy, and Sarah. Rob. Daniel and Steve R. Adrian, Robbo and Debbie. Eva, Carol, Stephen. Nick, Gav, Wayne and Val. Mike, Joker, Steve C and Mike U. Douglas, Tracy, and Duncan. Seth, Bernie, Solo, and Doug. Matthew. Seth and Malcolm. Fenrika, Steve, and Joseph. And we'll say Gav, just in case we missed you. And Stace. And uh, everybody else that's in the background, you're all very welcome. Right. Um, just want to do this quick thank you as I do uh, in all my lives. If I can get it up here. Yeah, there we go. Um, I just want to say thank you to Anna, Eva, Leona, Debbie, Maggie, Sarah, Carol, Steve R, Wayne, Daniel, Ruben, Stacy, Brian, David, Steve, Joseph, Tom, Richard, Gav, Jeff, Robbo, Rob H, Rob S, Lenny, Jean, Jappy, Leonard, Ian, Zed, Stephen, Nick, Hobby, and is Stephen, uh, Adam, even, and Adam, sorry, yes, sorry, got all confused there for a second, but then again, it's one of those evenings. So you're all very welcome. Um, as usual, I would really appreciate if uh, you have a question throughout the evening, put question or put it in capitals, make sure that Leona can see it. If it's missed, 
it's not missed on purpose. The chat does tend to move fast and uh, we're not missing chats and uh, comments on purpose. Um, ask again, don't be afraid to repeat the question until Leona sees it. And uh, if by any doubt that Leona does miss it and uh, we don't answer your question, feel free to message me privately and ask me and I will try and answer the question. If I can't answer the question, I will get the answer for you from somebody that does know the answer. And yes. Hi, Dr. D. Great to see you. And yes, I can practice my deep voice. OK, let's get rid of the chair over here. So this evening, um, I'm going to be uh, attempting anyway. I, I made one. Of course, I didn't bring it out. I was meant to. But hey, ho, diddly do. Wrong one. Uh, yes, we are going to be turning uh, um, a shadow vase, or they can be called a ghost vase. And it's a, a, an optical illusion where you have one colored wood inside another piece of wood, and you cut grooves into the side to a certain shape, and you make uh, an inside shape appear that it's another. Uh, vase inside a vase so it's a it's all done through optical illusion and uh, shadow god damn this wire is annoying this evening and uh, so yes that's what we're going to do this evening now woods didn't get a chance to sort out woods because of everything that happened with Streamyard. we're going to go uh, bud vase we're not going to do a huge a huge vase this evening uh, just because of uh, size and stuff like that. But I have some bits of wood here. I have a nice piece of yew and I have a piece of cherry. I think that, what do you reckon? Will those two work? Uh, yeah, not really as a contrast, no. Um, what I can do is I can use one piece of wood and I could do the burn technique, which will probably be quicker and it will look just, well, no, I can't because I haven't got the blowtorch in here. Oh, Jesus. Uh, right, no, do you know what? We'll just we'll just go with, with the flow. Oh, actually, I've got this piece of wood here. That's dark. I don't know what that is, but it's dark. That might work. In fact, that will work. We'll use that. We'll go with that. We've got this dark piece of wood here and we've got... Um, we've got a nice piece of U that we could probably use on the outside, and that will work. Yeah, this is, well, uh, I'm not sure if this is a Roco, to be honest with you. There's no name on it. Um, I want to find a, a nice size piece of U or beach. We could go beach even. Oh, do you know what? We'll go with the cherry. Cherry and the, the road cut. That'll work. Or whatever it is. It's not a road cut. Is it? Is it though? Okay. We'll go with that then. All right. We'll go with this block of cherry. And we'll start with that anyway. It's usual. We're just going to find our centre. Mark that. And we're going to round this off just and going to put a tenon on the outside. Oh, yeah, wrong camera. Sorry. Uh, I've got this one. This one here. Sorry, Debbie. Mammy, Mammy. Uh, I, could, I could do dyeing and stuff like that if I had dyes. Where's my ruler? Hi, who? Sorry, and who? Effie and... Hi, Jason and Effie. You're very welcome. Let's use a bit of wood to mark the bit of wood. One there. One there. One there. I will explain the way to do the burn way of doing this as well there are this isn't my idea by the way this is an old technique that a lot of people have done um, 
I just I hadn't tried it until the other day so uh, I gave it a go and now um, I'm showing you how I did it yes sorry Leona go ahead hi Neil and hi Brian oh Ian and Brian and if there's a Neil there hello to you too Hello, James. All right, so we're just gonna start off by getting this round. We're gonna get it round, 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 and we're gonna put a tenon on it. Roughing gouge is just here. Not pair. It's not all the way in, but there's pressure on it. Yeah, there's enough pressure because it's a step that's on the other side. So it's um, it's got plenty of grip. It's going to do what I want it to, and I can tighten it up if I need to. Put some goggles on because I don't have glasses on this so evening. I have my contacts in from work. My uh, videos are being shared to the um, suggestion pages. I've had, I actually had a couple of people message me this week saying they didn't realise I was live again. I was doing lives again. So. losing them rather than gaining them. Well, this... Uh, Armageddon? No, there'd, there'd be no um, gerbils hurt in the making of this vase. And I certainly won't be making any trips to the hospital to have any gerbils removed from uh, anywhere. Has anybody in the chat made one of these? Uh, may I ask? Uh, they have been around a long time. There are a good uh, few. My goggles are steaming up. Uh, there are a good few videos and things on the YouTubes of people making them. Uh, okay. Uh, so you've made one, but uh, just with one piece of wood, is it? With with the same type of wood. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, um, well, the scorch version, basically, what you do is you just burn the outside black. Once you've finished the shaping of your vase on the outside, you burn it black, uh, sand it off, finish it um, so it's nice and dark, and then you do your slots, and then you have the lighter wood inside forms a light-colored vase inside and leaves the outside black and contrasting, which is one way of doing it if you've only got one light-colored wood. All right, so we're going to put a um, tenon. On this. I've left this as big as possible. It could reduce down to 
quite a considerable smaller uh, pod bar. It depends on the shape that we go with. We might get all adventurous with uh, with um, with shape and maybe make a big fat belly on it or something. But we'll see. And because I can, I'm putting quite a big tenon on this just to make sure that. Uh, Well, cherry's quite a nice wood to turn, it's nice and soft and accommodating. Okay. I can see a spider hanging off my glasses, there it is. That's one I can handle. I can handle that one. That's a little biggie one. You can you can go free. I shall let you live because you're only little. And I don't have my blow torch with me. See you, Robbo. Thanks a million for popping in. Stay safe at work. All right, we're going to put our... Um, dovetail on this just so the chuck holds onto it. Okay. Alright. And that's all we're going to do with that at the moment. We're going to put that to the side. And we're going to get our darker wood. And we are good. Just going to get better. Hello to you too very welcome to those that have just joined we are turning a shadow vase or ghost vase they have a lot of from research they have a lot of names illusion vase holy moly Whew, that's a bit scary. The whole van just the whole side of the van just blew towards me. That's okay, we won't we won't panic. It's only a little bit windy outside, folks. I think there's something like uh sixty to seventy kilometers an hour at kilometer an hour winds this evening where we are. So nothing much <clears throat> when you're in a little wooden box. <laughs> Cool. That was Dr. D said that, was it? Dr. D. Okay. All right. Again, we're going to put this between centers and we're just going to round it off. Who does Gav? See you, Gav. Thanks for popping in. Stay safe, bud.
it smells lovely. Now, for one of these I made the other day, it was a practice piece to see does the concept work. Now, I've not seen it done the way that I'm doing it this evening, if I'm honest. But the one I did the other day, I used a polyester resin blank for the centre. Yeah, I still don't like turning that stuff, but... We've still got to take a little bit off because what I need to do is I need to turn this to the same size as drill bit, the biggest drill bit that I have, which is probably that one. I think we're probably going to have to go to the next size down by forcing the bits. I think we'll probably go with this one. Yeah, yeah we'll go with that size, which is my 45 mil force snippet. And we're going to turn this as accurate as we can all the way along to the size of that uh, force in a bit. So the best. Okay, Douglas, night night. Thanks. Hello, Doc. How are you? Yeah. Right, so I'm just going <laughs> to. I'm just going to um, use my parting tool just to make reference marks along the piece the right diameter is one. up this size and I have to go to build it smaller and then make, uh, make it bigger using following tools but we'll see. That's the sort of silly thing I do. Thank you. 
Because my mic keeps moving, everybody. Sorry about that. It, it's, that's what I was saying earlier. The cable keeps pulling. It pulls my mic away from my mouth, which is quite frustrating. All right. So we've got that pretty much to where I want it. And like I said, I think I might just go to the one smaller and then open. open it up to that just so that we're accurate I think that the one I went to I'm going to explain yes so the idea is that I'm going to insert this blank into the center of the other blank and um, I want I want it to be as accurate as I can so that there's no it doesn't matter if it's not super tight inside the inside there because you won't really notice it. But because we're making a bud vase, we want it this piece to be as big as we can so we can get a nice size hole down the, the center. All right, so now I'm just gonna give that a quick sandy sand. Nothing special because we will be cutting into it at a later date, but I just want it. Uh, so that when we glue it in, where's the end of my sandpaper gone? There it is. Just so that uh, when we glue it, we get a nice even spread of glue. Now, obviously, this is going to be the internal bars and the one that's going to create the optical illusion through the slots that we cut into the side now if you wanted to you could shape this slightly but it's going to be very hard to match it up when you hollow it so you're better off just having a i found anyway just to have the cylinder and just insert the whole cylinder down inside just want to get nice smooth sides on this i'm only doing it with 100 grit not going to go any any more than that Pretty good. Okie dokie. That's all we're going to do with that. Put that over to the side and we're going to get our ch put our chuck in. Chuck, 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 chuck. Thanks, Hodge. I've been practicing that. That's uh, you can practice yourself doing that um, on your own with any long implement that you desire. You don't even have to be in your workshop to do it. Okay, we can tighten that up. There we go. And what we're going to do now is we're going to drill an hole in the center of this blank. Let's 
take the tail stock out. Sorry. Armageddon. I'm not going to explain that, folks. Um, it's too much of a, <coughs> excuse me, too much of a weird story. I'm sorry. It's just a weird story. Right, I think that's the one that I'm using. Yes, it is. So just to force in a bit, I'm going to drill in, then I should put the extension on it. We'll go in a little bit deeper. We might not, we're not obviously going to be inserting the whole blank in there because it's longer. Well, we might because we might leave a, a neck on it. But uh, we're going to drill this out best we can. Jerry. I'm going to mute my um, headset because that's going to really hurt. It's going to hurt you anyway, Leona. Sorry, unless you want to mute your volume. Um, but I'm going to mute the uh, shows. Actually, do you know what? I should mute it on the, on the show.
Okay, folks, can you hear me again? Sorry about that. That's a very noisy, um, a very noisy, noisy thing, and it's just not pleasant on the camera. It's very squeaky. Now, I drilled in there, I think it's around about uh, four inches, I think I said it was. I'll measure it to be sure, to be sure. Three and three quarter inches it goes in there, but that's enough, I think, to get the effect that we're going to need. Um, does that leave us? Yeah, I think that's enough. We'll go with that. So now I need to just hollow that out slowly and bring it up to the size that I need. I shall move the camera in one second, folks. You can see me doing that. And uh, I'll sneak up and get that to fit nice and tight in there. Let me uh, change it camera any questions so far probably not yeah um i don't uh, i don't have compressed air in here but um i generally wouldn't uh, blast it out anyway it's just just horrible you just get it in your eyes and stuff it's just not it's not nice man Oh, no. What's 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 occurring? Ah, oh, that's the one. Yep. So we're gonna uh, just hollow that out. Going to use. Well, I'm gonna see anyway how it cuts. I might turn this light on. It might help with a bit of light to see that. Hopefully that's not too bright. And uh, I'm going to use, I've got like a flat scraper that I use, but it's modified if I can find it. Oh, it's over there. It's a modified flat scraper. It's got a cutting edge on the front, but it also has a cutting edge on the side so I can work my way down inside and still scrape the edges so we'll give that a go we'll get it to the size that we want it at the very front and then we'll work our way in let me set my calipers again how much do we need it's not much that i need to take off i might just mark that actually All right, we'll get it right at the front and then we'll go from there. Like I say, we're gonna only insert this in around four inches. Cue the, cue the jokes. to start with but once we know that's that's pretty good that's where we're heading so that's kind of the direction I want to go now keep it in and around that like I say it doesn't have to be um, super tight but um hi Richard
Now, the, the further you push this tool in, the more aggressive it can get because you're overhanging the tool rest quite considerably. So you need to have a good grip on the handle and just make sure that you're taking nice, small cuts and nothing, nothing super big. Now, if the camera is moving, folks, my apologies, that's because the whole van is moving. I'm just going to turn on my Hoover again. If I can find my turn you on stick, there it is. I can't quite reach my short arms. I'll leave it running it's not that easy. Okay. And this cherry really does cut lovely. Yeah, Steve. do is because I've got this edge is a cut in the edge too I can tip that up to 45 and it will scrape the whole way down inside that and just clean off a small amount at a time Cherry, cherry. Takes a little bit of patience, but uh, we'll get there eventually. What's the beverage of choice this evening, Yana? be water but then I know you so I know it's not it might well be yes okay so we are in around about inch and a half by the look of it yeah about inch and a half 
So we're heading in the right direction anyway. Rest has started loosening itself, which is pretty damn annoying. Now, ideally, I my force of it would have been. the right size and it would have you know, just stood in there but it never works out that way and what happens is if I would have gone to the size force of it that I chose I would have ended up making the hole too big um, I just know me down to where I want them. I'm not taking too much. Don't want to get too aggressive with the cut and get a catch from having this tool either pulled out my hand or like that. Or the piece of wood being ripped off the way. So just tiny bits at a time. To, towards the front but like I say we can we'll get away with it because it won't necessarily show too bad when we go cutting as long as we've got some kind of glue bond at the bottom and the sides will be good we can always add glue later so I've just got to clean up the last little bit of the bottom I've got about a quarter of an inch at the bottom just to clean up Hopefully I can get it with this tool. It's very grabby when you're over the tool rest so far taking this tool to its limit really at four inches cue the jokes again see it's grabby hi Stephen goodbye Barry thank you for joining I think I might have got that I'm just going to get that very last bit with my uh, my hope because I was getting to the limit of how far I can put that scraper in there. I don't want to go ripping it off the chuck now when I'm so close.
The only trouble is we're using the hope. You can't get a nice even wall. So you have to get it down to roughly where you want it and then hopefully I can just clean it up with a scraper then. The, this hollower I think at the moment uh, there's a few issues with Simon Hope's site he's shut it down oh very good um, yeah Simon Hope has closed it down I don't know if it's because of Brexit or because of um, COVID oh okay yeah It's a shame. Yeah. So it's parcels going missing. Yeah, it's a shame. Right, I think I have it. I just cleaned up that last little bit at the bottom. Um, sorry, repeat that. So, yeah, okay, so just retrofit the piece that I'm inserting rather than the piece that I'm hollowing, is that it? No? Yeah. Well, you can do it either or either, I suppose, yes. Just want to make sure that I'm full depth there, and I am, I'm right in there as far as I can go. So, we're good with that. Cool. It's a nice snug fit. It goes in to the bottom there and we're gonna we're gonna go with that I think so I'm gonna glue that in now Ugh. get my new glue over here new glue <laughs> yes it felt good um, I'm not going to run sandpaper in there. It's quite a nice smooth cut and not only that will give the glue something to hold on to it Felt good luck. Oh Yeah, have to go full depth otherwise there's no point in having such a deep hole Just saying. Do these uh, glues have a cap on the inside of the cap, or can you just? Oh no! There we go. Put some glue on the very end. I'm just using uh, medium thick super glue for tonight it, ideally it'd be, be better to use a wood glue because that also will fill any gaps if it was a little bit loose but just for speed this evening i'm going to use some super glue It's refusing to come out because it's so blooming cold in here. Let's put it in there like that and then squeeze some on and then spread it around. That would be the best. That's it. Do it like that. Yep. It's amazing how the cold makes this stuff really thicken up. <laughs> 
Balls Deep. <laughs> it's a good name. Just want to put this so that I'm not getting glue all over my bed. Maybe there, folks. I know this is riveting stuff. Now I'm going to have to be very quick when I push this in here. That's what she said. That's what he said, even. You then poking your what? Oh, fire. Okay, so just heard you there completely. All right, there we go. We've got some glue in there. Now I'm going to be very quick with this and I'm just going to whack it in there. Move my this out of the way. Here it goes. Put it there and go. And try and get a bit of a twist to spread the glue around while it goes. All right, I've moved it in the chuck, but it doesn't matter now because we can straighten it back up. And we'll let that uh, we'll let that dry up, folks. I might just give it a bit of a spray spray at the front because Eva loves it when I use my spray. It's not a live show unless I use my activator spray. There we go. I'm going to take these goggles off for now because they're quite annoying. Yep. All right, that's good. No, I was I was quick. Sorry. It did slide right in. Okay, so I've got I want a little bit of this neck sticking out. You'll see why because it's going to be um, part of the design. Um, but now we need to drill our hole down through the center of this. And I think I will use my biggest one of these. It's only going to be a bud vase, as I say. So it's just like a single flower or a couple of stemmed flowers. Nothing too major. But with the thicknesses of our blank, We've got lots of scope for shape. So, Doki, I'm not sure that I'm going to get the length of my drill bit in this. I might have to cut a wee bit off the end because I'm very restricted on the, the length of my bed. So, yeah, I might just part a little bit off the end of this, which is annoying, but it is what it is. So, where is my... Um, no, I don't want to hold it because I don't want any bloody accidents live on. Where, where, did, where did I put me? Uh, there it is. Found it. Now, I still have my little denty nubbity nub from when I rounded off this blank. So it's it's not going to be perfect because obviously both woods were turned differently and all that and things move, but it will be a good enough center point to work from. Just to part that off 
and I'm just going to tighten up my chuck again just to make sure that we don't slip out the do flopper. All technical words, they are all wood turning phrases. Do floppers and how's your father's and what you call it. All technical phrases used by wood turners. Just saying. Right. I'm going to just part off enough of this so that I can get my drill bit in there. Probably about we go with think of the shape here yeah, we'll go with this this much Night night Stephen, thank you very much for joining. So that is what we're gonna do with that. Now I just want to put a little uh dimple as it were in the front so that my drill bit sits in there nicely and starts drilling without riding up the side of the wood. So I'm just gonna clean that up. Hi Joe, very welcome. Night night Adrian, thank you very much for joining. Have a good sleep bud. Like I say, this is just so that my drill bit will find the center easier because it is a big drill bit that I'm going to be putting in there and it can be quite aggressive. So we'll give it a little helping and Hi Billy. Yeah, we said hello to Joe. All right, we'll go with that and we'll see how the drill bit handles that. About the right length okay if, again if this is noisy I will mute the um, the mic quite nicely. So 
is where it makes a noise when you take it back out again. That's generally the uh, way it goes anyway. Now it doesn't necessarily matter if you drill further than your the depth of your center piece of wood. It's probably just best that you don't because it'll give you more scope with the base then. You're not gonna come into the hole then when you oh god that sounded wrong. You're not <laughs> you're not going to um encroach upon where you have drilled the hole at a later date. <laughs> I think I'll just give up. <laughs> I just know the minds of half the people that are in that chat and I'm just fueling the fire. work out my depth four inches into there or three and three quarters so there's six inches in total that's going to go around about five inches that's perfect that's perfect for bud vase bud there bud vase <laughs> Sorry about the sound. Do you want me to mute people? Oh, is it okay? I don't think it's too bad. But... Do the fun bit in a minute and start actually shaping it. It's all the prep work up to the fun bit, I'm afraid, folks. It takes the time, but I'm as well to show you the whole process rather than do a blue Peter. Just see, can I just get a little my key and throw it across the floor? I'll just see if I can just get just a tiny little bit more on this drill bit, just to get that little extra bit. I think I pretty much got it on its maximum. That's as far as I dare go, just to get that last little bit. foreplay absolutely Let's get that chuck out there Ugh, like that okay now I'm going to use my cone live and recenter that again Like 
so so that's got some good support in the end and now we're good to uh, start shaping yay now like i say no idea what shape i think i'm gonna go with quite quite a a bigger belly maybe have a nice rounded bottom on it and then go with a a long neck i think it's really really snowing out there or i just anywho right let's uh we're gonna take some of the bulk waste away we can bring up the volume a bit um let's change the camera to this one for now and move the camera around so you can see it taking shape how we're we doing for time now okay all right so now we're going to just go and we're going to start taking some of this bulk just with the roughing gouge and then i can start refining the shape Hi Scott, very welcome. Like I say, we're just going with a, the roughing out at the moment. Get a lot of the bolt away. like that and then we'll start doing a bit of refining i'm just gonna sharpen up my uh my gouge there with just one second take the plate out oh, tell you what it's blooming cold and it's blooming windy it's not affected the camera too much so i hope you don't actually feel the fact that I feel like that I'm on the ocean. I'll just turn my heater on there. Warm myself up a little bit. Okay. some shapey shapey into this so i'm going to start with my neck and i'm going to work my way back so that i know kind of where i'm going and what i might do is we might just glue a little bit of extra onto the top of the neck of contrasting wood if we have any left after shaping the main body so i want to just thin the neck down as much as I can obviously I'm very restricted with the size of the hole that I've drilled my uh... yes um, I did I think I did say that earlier um, it would it would be advisable to use wood glue I just use CA just this evening just for speed 
but um yes i would advise anybody doing this to use wood glue and wait for it to set up absolutely Good night, Steve. P, thank you very much for joining. This is very hardwood. No, that's okay. It's not very sharp, but let's grab the other one. Now, like I say, I'm very wary of my wall depth. Don't want to make the inside bigger than the outside. Now I can extend my neck. I can make that a wider neck on this by adding some cherry to the top of the rim and actually have a a contrasting wood on top so I'm not too worried about that I just want to get some basic shape into this now what I want to do as well I just want to put a mark four and three quarters so I'm uh, it's three and three quarters so I know where the end of my internal wood is good night Steve thanks for joining there we go Forgetting I'm not wearing glasses. Very different um, woods. One's incredibly hard, and the other one is quite soft. So very easy to uh, this way, I think.
just trying to find a, a shape that kind of suits you. I don't want to go any thinner than that with my with my neck. Now we're going to just start turning this up and around. I think I'm not sure how this is going to look with the two woods meeting, but we'll see. I might have to put a bit of a bead or something just to. Turn this off in a second, see what this looks like. This is the transition is all I'm trying to get right. Ah, it's getting there. Like I said, I might just put a bead in there. To clean it up. That's my scraper. We have no scraper that I can just maybe use to Just trying to get a nice transition between the two woods with a nice curve. And like I say, I might have to either put a burn line or a scorch or something in there just where the two woods transition. But it's, or I could even, at a later date, slide another ring of wood over it. There we go. Got it. Like I say, going from the soft wood to the, or the softer wood to the, the hard wood is hard. To, uh, right, okay. I'm going to just put a bead in there. Not happy with the way it's transitioning. So we're going to go with a bit of a design in here. I suppose what you could do if you're doing this is you could do a rebate. So the inner wood kind of sinks into the outer wood and you don't have as much of a obvious transition. that to maybe get a cleaner edge. So. 
parking tool is not just a parking tool. That's better. I tidied that up a lot. Much better. Good, good. It was never going to work with just with trying to fade it in. That's good. All right. Back to shape. I think, like I said, we're going to just go with like a um, a long neck and a, a big bum. Take some of this cherry as part of the neck. Like this. I still want to leave a little bit of meat on the cherry because otherwise our illusion won't work as well. I want to just go down the edge of my bead that I've done here and bring it so it looks like it's a bead. Like that. Hi, Pete. Very welcome. Thanks for joining. So now we're going to bring this one. Again, we'll use our scraper to. A smaller one up here that will fit in nicer. Nice. In there. Wow, that heater gets warm really quick. Like that little curve there. Right, that's what we'll go with. And then we'll put a little bit of shape on this. Let me determine where the bottom is going to be. First, we come round, probably come to a roundabout here, I'd say. So let's shape it into that bit of a round button. Liking the shape, folks, or working? Taper the top. Yeah, oh, I am. Yeah, I am going to taper the top. The thing is, I don't want to take too too much away from the top because then you lose the effect of the illusion. 
that's that's the trick of this. It's not like your usual bud bars where you can just take away as much as you want. I still want enough meat on this to, be, to get the illusion. I think I'm just, I'm not going to go much more than that. I think I'm happy with that kind of shape on the outside because the, it's the inside that finishes off the overall design. Just doing a couple of sheer scrapes just to define the shape. <laughs> Bong, yeah. A, dem a demi jar, a demi jar, or whatever you used to call them in science. Like I say, it's going to have a flared um, top added to it with the piece of cherry that I've cut off the bottom there. I'll make a contrasting rim to go on the top. I don't, don't know if we'll have time to do that this evening, but we'll see. All right, let's, uh, let's go negative right quickly. Just having trouble just smoothing that transition. Okay. I'll just clean up the neck a little bit too, just with a bit of a negative squeak. All right, we can play with that neck a little bit. Right, let's. We'll just do a hundred, a hundred grit sand quickly on the outside of it, so that we can blend it all in. We can do a final sand after we've cut our slot. bomb off in a minute. All right. We, we can do any sand in in a minute, I just want to start getting our design in here. Yeah, 
what was my final depth of drilling? Five and a quarter. This was okay. I'm just going to take a measurement inside just to make sure that I'm right. Hundred and thirty takes me to there. Okay. Right, so here we go. We are just going to start doing our thing. Let's literally just take the part until I'm going to sharpen it up. Just, oh no, no, it's fine. It's not blunt. And we're going to just start putting some slots in here. Now, I want to go around about this one. Well, the idea is to try and keep your parting tool as straight as you can going in. Bloody part, uh, tool rest keeps moving. A bit more speed. Now I'm just going to go until I start seeing the change of wood colour and then stop. Here we go. I'm just going to do a slight relief cut. Take any more than that. Okay, and then I'm going to come down about one and a half thicknesses of my parting tool, and I'm going to go again. The owner's doing a thousand words a second. Must be a very quiet chat this evening, is it? And again, we're just going to go down to when we hit the wood. There we go. Now sometimes what will happen is the ring will loosen. That happened a couple of times on the last one, but it's not hard to reset them. Now, one and a half again. Go again. <coughs> Excuse me, that means coughing it here.
Look. Now, I think I could probably go one more. My rings have just come loose. Now, what you can do with that is it's not that much, that important if it goes like that. Like I said, I just dribbled some uh, CA down the edges and then hit it with a thing. But I was thinking what you could do then is you could put them at an angle too. Yeah, and you could kind of change your orientation of them if you wanted to. Um, I'll set some glue in in a sec. We'll have a play with that in a sec. Um, but like I said, I'm not too worried about them parting off. That wouldn't happen if you use wood glue. Obviously, it would be a lot. It would be set a lot better. Um, it's more the speed that's caused that issue. But like I said, I'm not too worried about it. So now I'm not sure if the if you're seeing the vase in the middle there. But um, what I want to do now, I've I've got enough thickness on that wood to shape and and start taping it down a little bit towards the bottom which is what i'm going to do so with with the second one down i'm going to cut in just a little bit and the third cut in a little bit more and the fourth cut in a little bit more just bearing in mind that i don't have much of the wall and it just gives the illusion that it's tapering inside the jar inside the uh, vase as well so that's what i'm going to do now these rings might just pull up. I might just pull them over. No, I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep them like that for now. Do you know what? While they're set there at the moment, I'm going to dribble some glue down there and uh, and set them. And then I can clean the glue off again. I'm going to dribble some uh, thin glue. Turn the heater off because it's bloody warm. Any questions so far, people? Ostriches. All right. That's what I'm doing. I'm putting some CA just to reset it. Is that our Rob? Yeah. Ma Rob. <laughs> He's Ma Rob. Like I say, this all soaks in and then it resets them and then you can go back clean and off again with the parting tool again. Messy way of doing it. Like I say, the the wood glue would be a lot better way to um, to go. But with time and stuff like that, it just... All right, so that's got plenty of glue down there. I'll get my famous spray again. And the good thing about this spray, it comes with an equal tube that you can get right inside there and Yeah, as I said, Pete, um, on a live, you're obviously, if, if I'd done a Blue Peter, I could have had two and blah, 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 and had one ready. But because it's a live, I just use uh, CA glue. And, you know, you're going to have issues with CA. Everyone knows that. But, um, yeah, tight bond or wood glue, let it set up, and then 
off you go and start doing this. You just wouldn't have that issue. But um, now they've, they've all set there again now. Nice and solid again. It happened with the last one I did as well. Again, I, it was just a practice piece. I'm not too worried about, even if it does this wiggity-piggity, it, it still looks cool. You still have a nice looking um, effect. Okay, so I'm going to clean up those now. Now that they're held in there. You'll see they'll be a bit wibbly wobbly now. But they should clean up with the with the parting tool. Actually, I'm going to just touch up my parting tool as well. Get it sharp. Um, another ring. Yeah, um, I didn't want to do it yet, just in case I uh, I run out of room. But yeah, I might do another ring. I do agree. I concur, Leona. Just cleaning up the the edges, the sides of each ring. There are lots of ways of doing this. Um, Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns, he did it where he um, turned all the rings and then glued all the rings together and alternated them. So I'm just taking a little bit from the inner tube, the inner tube that's there at the moment and now not too much. Clean the inside of this one again. Same on the other side of the other end. Good. Now take a little bit more out of the middle ring. I have to turn the light on a minute so that I can see what I'm doing and then take the edge of this one Just want to get a look at that now. Shine a bit of a light in there if I can. I might just turn this light on. It's going to blind people, but it'll give me a better view of how much I've taken out. Okay, it's pretty good. Yeah, I think I agree. Maybe another slot at the bottom. Is it better with the light on, is it? It's, it's not too blinding. Oh, okay. All right. It's very hard to get light right and live. Um, 
So you can you can see, you know, it's got a bit of shape. I'm happy with it, but like that. Can, can you remember how deep I said it goes? I can't remember. Measure it again. 130, was it? Yeah, it's 130. Goes 130 deep inside. So I've actually got plenty of room to take more out of the bottom and thin it down. So that's okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I've I've measured in where how far, how far I've bored. So I might put another ring on it. I'm not sure that I'm going to hit the wood though. How long was that the whole blank in? I think it was. Was it an eight inch blank? I think eight inches long. I think. So yeah, I think I might put another ring in there. Got enough room for another ring. I think it will look better. Hi, Jigsy. Let's put another ring in. Why not? Now we might not hit the inner tube with this one, but no harm. Still give a good effect. We are going to hit the inner tube. That's good. That will look even better now then. That's cool. Oh no! <laughs> I've actually cut it right on the bottom where the tube joins. <laughs> it's alright, I can get it with glue again, but it's just... I, it was that last ring, I was like, should I, should I not? It's just... It's alright, we can get it with glue again. We'll set it. Let's get it roughly centered. There we go. Now we'll squirt some glue in there and we'll get it set again. It's okay. We won't panic. It'll actually kind of look cool now because you can see the bottom of the center tube so it means that I can shape it in even more I want to get a good soaking of glue in the bottom of there now so it runs down in the joint it's a nice flat joint so it meets nicely I never panic with these things like I say it's their design opportunities There we go. Don't worry, folks. Steve always manages. It's not the owner's fault. It's Steve's fault for listening. <laughs> That's it. It's got it. Eggs. Exactly. You got it right, Hodge. That's exactly it. <laughs> so it goes into 130. So we've got enough room to really thin the bottom of that down. So it will look cool. So let's do that. Again, I'm just going to touch up the... Oh, again. <coughs> Dusty stuff that... Um, Okay, here we go. Just gonna get in there again. 
have to be careful. Because now we've just got that glue joint holding it now. And I'm trying to twist my parting tool to accommodate kind of the, the shape. Sorry, I went there. I'm the second, I'm cutting the second one up, and now I'm going down to the bottom one. Making myself a little bit of room. And then tapering down the bottom yes exactly who was that Mike you yeah exactly I'll have um, a lovely collection of captive rings Mike or, yeah or, yeah that's a good one honey dipper Who says sorry? Hi, Lacey. Oh, catch. I broke my joint again. Right, to be honest with you, it's shaped enough so I can uh, glue that now for the final time. I'm not going to faff around with it anymore because it could get boring for folks so i'm going to reset my joint well yeah it's 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 a thing go okay, kind of where we're supposed to be there are we rob's got a demo soon i believe i think it's about 12 o'clock our time uh it's a paid a pay a paid demonstration yeah for it's for he's doing it for someone it's not his own one that he's doing you know good night billy i don't blame you There we go. Oh, dinner time. Dinner time. There we go. No, no. It's, I think people have to pay to, to view. A pay to view. Do, 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 do. Yes, I will show you. Um, I will show you the 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 cuts in one second. Good night, Doctor D. I'll try and get this one in. Uh, they're not supposed to be breaking off either. It's it's what's known as a Stevie faux pas. But it's okay. I shouldn't have done that last ring. That's what that's what screwed me up.
now the joint isn't as good as it was. <laughs> you can you can keep your captive rings, Joseph. <laughs> Gonna get a little bit more in there and then we'll uh, we'll set that up and then clean it. Oh that's good, that's dribbling right into the joint there now. Lovely. It was Leona's fault, yeah. We'll blame Leona today. Because we can't blame David today. I want to get a something in there to Oh, that do. Yeah, exactly. Well, hopefully the CA won't be that obvious with it being down inside there. Once we've it's set and we've done a little bit of cleaning up. There we go. Hopefully that has got it now. Seems to have. Right, I'll let that set up for a second. I think I can. Yeah, I think we're, we're all right with that shape actually. Once I clean up the inside, it'll be all right. I don't want to take any more off the inner tube because I'll just be causing myself grief, I think, now that we've weakened that bottom bit. Right, what I'll do is now is, now it's set. I'm just going to clean off the outside of it again and reshape it just where it's gone a little bit wibbly. Leona just said, oh, God. So she obviously has every little faith in me. <clears throat> no, because you can see where a couple of the rings have moved. So I just want to... goggles on. Some goggles. Really. back again. Hello. Okay. And again, we'll do our cleany cleany. Can't see with the goggles. Steaming up. Just cleaning up the glue. Hopefully, I don't get a catch again.
think I got that. Who, who says hello? Sorry, I missed that. Hi, Sodor. All right, so it's just a, a sandy sand now. And we'll get inside the little grooves just by shaping our sandpaper and making it fit. I basically fold it in half and then in half again. Good night, Tracy. Thank you for joining. And that just gets in there nicely. And the inside of the rings, both sides, and then you can use the, the ridge of the paper at the bottom to clean your inner tube. What I found with the other one that I did the weekend, uh, Tuesday or whenever it was, you can kind of just slightly round over the edges of the rings and it just gives it that nice clean even look. made it pop off again <sighs> pants poo bums and willy bums it's always the the weakest joint will uh, mess you up every time it's back where it belongs but I just I haven't got any more thin glue to dribble in there I think that's going to be a problem I might just take it off and maybe that's what I'll do I don't know why I'm messing I can just pull it off can't I and put glue on the bottom of it what a Egypt <laughs> <laughs> oh dear it's been a long day you know Clean it up a little bit. I want to round it off so it doesn't hold it. I should take the opportunity to um, take that little ridge that's in there that I didn't quite get. Excuse me for coughing in your ears. the bottom is it uh, this should be a good joint now to be honest with you
can't remember what I said. I say a lot of wrong statements, in fairness. Okay. Oh, coughing in your ears. <laughs> Tiger, don't sit there. Uh, yeah, you can sit there, that's fine. No, you can't. Why does it never go back how it came off? It's like repacking a, a package. To be honest with you, I could have sounded that a bit better, but enough's enough. I'm not wasting any more as this evening. I, I can fix it off camera anyway if it comes to it. It's not the one I was using, that's the one I was using. It's only the sounding we've got to do now, anyway. That's got it. Just sanding. Let's continue. Oh, too fast. I suppose the heat that you generate as well can cause issues with CA glue. Uh, that's the joy of lives, you know, sometimes it'll go wrong. More times than not, my lives do go wrong. <laughs> I am my own worst enemy. Still looks better with that last ring though. Like I say, I'll just curve over the edges of the rings like this. <laughs> Far from perfect. Just the way I like it. Who'd want to be perfect? It's, off, it's an awful thing to try and keep up with, isn't it? Trying to be perfect.
You're giving out, aren't you? Giving out to me again, are you, John? I'm just sanding. Yeah. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. I am the I am the king of uh, bodging. MacGyver of wood turning. Oh, sorry, dog. Sorry to let you down. Sounding up quite nice, actually. Now you can uh, spend as long as you want with sanding. I probably would spend a, a lot longer than this sanding, to be honest with you. I did with the last one, but um. But yeah, Leona's giving out in my ear. If I continue, she's going to actually have a heart attack in my ear, I think. <sighs> okay, I'm just going to give it a, a 120. <laughs> Thanks, so girl. <laughs> it is an odd place to have a heart attack in someone's ear. But the owner quite often does it. Normally with off-centered stuff. It's normally, oh God, you're not going to cut it again, are you? You're not going to do it. I'll just leave it, Steve. It's fine. Now I'm just going to do the outside with the 240, 220, sorry. I won't bother going on the inside bits.
Okay. Here, Lou. Sounded up okay. All right, we'll do a quick uh, finish up on the bottom. Turn in some kind of little foot. I might just finish it off round, to be honest with you, I think. I think that's what... <coughs> yeah, excuse me. I want to keep a small bit of this waste block. Night, Jason. Thanks for joining. Just to match in with the bead at the top, I'm just going to do that kind of little detail there on the bottom, like so. And then put like a little foot, like so. Just like that, kind of like that bottom. I like that bottom. It's got a nice bum now. This is just going to get an oil finish, my favourite finish, to be honest with you. It's easier just to dribble a little bit of oil in, in all the slots and things. Groovy, groovy man. about sand in the, the very bottom of it by hand later on. Yeah. Good. 
get and that. There we go. That'll do. Will I dribble a bit of oil on it now? I may as well. While it's there, put the board on the lathe. Yeah. Put the old board, 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 board. Oh, I cut my board up. Hmm. I'll put this cardboard there. Just it. Plenty of oil on there, like so. Ow, chicka, wow, wow. Good thing about oil as well is you can go back and sand it again if there's a few imperfections, but. Oh, pretty. This is just mineral oil. Let's dribble a little bit into each slot and then I can get the towel in there. I always um, announce that I farted because I'm always proud of them. Hi, Billy back. It's probably easier to... Uh, Oil this when it's standing upright to get the all along the top and bottom of the grooves, but you know we'll get we'll get the idea. I can get any bits that I miss. Got it all there. They're actually not two nice woods together. What just moved? Did my joint move again? Bloody did. Oh my goodness. Now there's oil on it, it won't stick. Anywho, I can fix that. Wipe off any access. Stupid things moving. I have to glue it again. That's a shame that that just parted again on the final oiling. It was just looking nice as well. Damn it. Frustrating, people. At least it's in a place that's easily fixed. That's, you know, I can get that glue joint sorted and just frustrating. We all get frustrated in our shops with things more often than not, to be honest with you. Okay. 
All right, let's take it off and see if can we get that final fix on that bloody joint because it's getting on my... Yeah, probably. Probably does. And now I've got oil on the joint. It probably won't stick at all, but I can sand it anyway. Just, just, I'm going to part it off. Yep, I'm going to part it off. And then we'll glue it back up. Just really, 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 really freaking frustrating. It makes me go gra. Yeah, I could put a dowel in there. I just think what's happened is I've got such a build up of glue on it now that it's just glue sticking to glue or not sticking to glue. Yeah, I've got um, some uh, some sticks, actually. I've actually got dowels as well. I don't know if they're in here, but I'm not sure that glue's going to stick now with the oil that's gone in there, but we'll see. The ideal, the ideal thing for this now would be one of those double-ended screws. Just screw it into it and be done with it. But hey, we've gone on long enough now at this stage. I'll go over here to my flat table and sand this. Probably best if I use the actual right side of the sandpaper, it sounds a lot better. La 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 la. So what we've learned this evening, folks, is don't use CA to do this project. Let's see how that changes. Hello, Rubber Dub. It's probably just as well you've missed it. It's been a usual Stevie Live. Gloomageddon. Gluegate. I didn't yell, uh, what's it called, quick enough. What's the word of the day? 
Armageddon. I'm going to um, let me. Oh, there it is. I was looking for my tool rest, and it's right in front of my nose. It's attached to the lathe, you know. I think I'm getting tired. Yeah, that's what it is. I'll just clean up this front face. That's what I'm going to do because it's just stick. Proud. Just the centre, not the rim. Just like that. Hopefully, it will sit on there better now. See you, Steve C. Good night. Thanks a million for sticking as long as you did. well to uh, do this right now that's better that's a bit much better joint okay hopefully I've still got enough glue in this pot to uh, do this this time <laughs> that's a good one I'm going to pile it. Oh, yeah, I've just got to pile it. Well, no, I'm not going to. i tell you why, because I won't be able to stick it straight. Uh, I won't be sticking it anyway, I don't think. I don't think I've got any glue left. Rubbish, right? Oh, I show my face. I will show you my face. Promise. Yeah, I got some glue. If you, yeah, thirteen now actually. Rubber dub. After today. Okay. Come on, Steve. You can do this. Well, it's yeah, probably. What do I know? What do I know? I'm a special needs assistant. Wow, look at that. Look at that bang on. I think. No, near as, near as damn it, anyway. Okay, I'll leave that to uh, do its thing for a second, and I'll show. I'll show um, who is it wants to see my gorgeous face. There you go, Sodor. How you doing?
Because I'm gorgeous, I'll do anything for you. Because I'm gorgeous, I know my secret. Had a blast from the past, that song. Remember the tank top you bought me? You wrote your gorgeous on it. You put me on your rented motor car and fill me on the bonnet. <laughs> Great lyrics. I thought you wanted to see my face. <laughs> I'm only putting a little bit of oil on it. That's all while it's just setting up. And uh, now I'm going to part it off. Literally send it flying across the workshop just to uh, finish off the live for you folks. Oh, I could leave it overnight. But then I will go into the house disappointed that I didn't. Hands up who can hear Leona giving out to me. Yeah, I'm not going to say that. I know what I'll do. I shall use the parting tool with least resistance. Oh, Leona, told you about that before. Emotional what? Just saying. <laughs> that was lucky. <laughs> the owner's more pissed off with the fact that I didn't break it. Then. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Too late. <laughs> jammy, jammy, jammy. Sorry? Ah, I just may as well. For, for the sake of how long it's going to take, I'm going to just do it. Oh, wow. <sighs> Honestly, folks, if you heard the abuse that I get in my ear. You know that won't happen. Oh, that's too fast. That was turning too fast, you know. that's going on in this oh I don't know I don't know if I deserve it at all Let's see how that's going to sit on that yes that will uh, that will glue nicely on there thank you just going to do a quick sandy sand to see if I can bring back wood not oil What's the worst that can happen, the owner? She's not talking to me anymore. She's like... Actually, the owner never does that. You know you said that this could take an hour. Yeah, you're pretty right, because I can't find my chuck. I can't can't find the chuck key. Ah. There's so much shit around here now that I can't find the fucking No, I'm shoving that. I'm shoving that in there like that. Then I'm going to shove that on there like that. And that's going to act as my centering piece. Come on. Tell, tell me that's not clever. All I've got to do now is remember I put my glue again. Do you know... You get to a certain age, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> things things just don't work anymore, including your head. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, loads of glue in this one. Way there we go. Look at that. Perfect. I just thought, seeing as I have been so successful with it this evening. Would you super glue for this? <laughs> it's exactly what I'm going to do. It's all about the face. <laughs> There, look at that, perfect. <laughs> it 
Leona is going to have a heart attack. <laughs> She's, I can actually hear her heart beating in her neck from here. <laughs> Funny thing is, I've got to leave the drill bit in there now until I actually break through the other side and can get it out. <laughs> okay, that's long enough to glue. Oh, yeah, that's a perfect joint, that is. Yeah. Choose. That's me. Sprung loaded end. Yep, that'll do. Thanks for the uh, vote of confidence, <laughs> you, know, you know, I'm really appreciating your uh, your belief in me this evening. No, your belief in me this evening. It's uh, it's most um, There's some kind of, uh, you know, sexiness about the way I do things. Okay, how wide a neck are we going to go? How wide a rim are we going to go? Okay, okay. That's what I was kind of thinking, to be honest with you. about there. Who does? Dear Jigsy, thank you very much.
go. And that looks all right. <laughs> yeah, have faith in the drill bit. Thanks, Eva. No. <laughs> Pete's on fire this evening. Wow, thanks for the confidence, everybody. The extra top bit, what, that I haven't cut off? Oh, for goodness sake, well, it's, com it's coming off. So. Because uh, I've cut the rim as thin as I want to go. A, a Danish kitchen lamp. Oh, I never made one of those before, so it's a win. Oh, okay. The top. All right. Let's um. Let's part. Let's break my toe. Let's part this off. No. Again, we'll go with the uh, parting tool with least resistance. You know, it's almost like there's something rattling about inside it.
is where I hope the parting tool doesn't get caught on the drill bit that's inside here. Jesus Christ, I'm hanging on fucking in there. Excuse me. Ta da. That was very, uh, Undramatic, wasn't it? <laughs> One drill bit. There we go, and it just needs a, a sandy sand and a clean up in the inside. But uh, yeah, I can get that. Actually, I could probably get that. I will get that with the uh, with the cone bit. I'll do that. Put the cone in the... What? Oh, snow. Oh, Kieran's banging on my window telling me there's snow. I thought I saw it snowing, all right. I was right. It was snowing, you know. So now I'm just going to do like a... Push this in here. No, that's not going to work. That one's not going to work. Where's my cone? All right, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Just... Oh, that... no, that's not it. Can't find where I put my cone. I've had a right night of putting things down and never seeing them again. No, don't know where it's gone. <laughs> Found it. It was under the bit of wood. This is how... This is how the Russians do all their turning. <laughs> so good to come up there. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> that would just be silly. I'm calling it a night at that, folks. <laughs> I should, I should clean the, I should clean that up. <laughs> I was going to try and turn off the little nudgy bit that just needs to be taken off. But... <laughs> we, we got there. <laughs> we got there in the end, folks. There you go. Night, Ian. Uh, let me put a whiteboard behind it and you might just see the... Um... Will that work? No, let's get this white one. Okay. 
you see that? I've uh, got to go this way. Here you go. It looks cool. We got there in the end. I think that shows anyway. Like I say, there's just that little bit where I parted it off, just needs sanding around the top. And I've just got to sand off the nubby nub on the bottom. But we got there in the end, and it's actually a better joint on the bottom now. I'm glad it kind of came apart. I, I was able to seal up the joint at the bottom. So we got there. I like it. Um, it'd be another one for flowers. We'll put it inside, and we can have flowers on the table and stuff. It shows you the concept, and it shows you how not to do it. Uh, <laughs> it... it if that joint hadn't broken at the point at the bottom, it would have been pretty much a successful turn. Um, bar that joint, sorry, and all the rings broke. No, they they just separated, but they they glued up fine. It was just that bottom ring that came off. It caused all the hassle, and I had to fix it several times, as, as you saw. It will get another couple of coats of oil as it soaks in, and once it's soaked and soaked and soaked, um, it will uh, it will buff up nicely, and it will have a bit of a sheen to it. At the moment, it's a bit dull because it, it, it needs to soak up all the oil. Um, but it's, it's nice. It looks okay. Um, wood glue... Wood glue is the way to go. Put use wood glue. Don't I was like I say I was using CA glue. You could put a smaller hole in there as well and make the neck a lot thinner. You could there's loads of things you can do with design. Um, but the concept's there and it shows you how to do the concept. And that's let me turn that freaking freaking Hoover off. I was wondering what the noise was. And can you believe after all that time? I'm just at the very final part of parting off the most stressful part. And Kieran goes dum, 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 on the window. Snow! Jesus. Snow! <laughs> but yes, um, it, the concept's there, like I say, and uh, you can do all different designs with it. You can take a lot more in, make the hole smaller, give you the walls thicker, and you can, that's what I did with the resin one. I kind of made it go into a point at the bottom, so it looked like a, it went, but you can, you can play with design as much as you want, but I, it just shows you the concept that you can do, okay? That was, that was my goal, to, to, to show you a concept and have, have an end, end product, so that's it thank you very much everybody for joining me thank you very much leona oh yes ian what is your question what headset it's a logitech um hold on it's a logitech headset i uh, ian i will um I will see if I can get a, uh, the details on it, and I'll send it to you. Yeah, it's a Bluetooth um, Logitech. So it has the dongle that sits in the side of the computer, and it's got brilliant range. I can walk quite a distance away, and it works. Um, it's quite good sound, actually, from this one. It's not too bad. So uh, thank you very much, everybody, for joining. I don't even know how many we've got left. I don't even know how many we had, but it, it doesn't matter. We got there in the end. We did the job and we have a vase, a vase or whatever you want to call it at the end of it. And it will hold flowers. And that's all that matters. So thank you very much, everybody, for joining me. I shall see you. Well, I shall see the bananas again on for, uh, Sunday. And I will see. Oh, Sunday's Valentine's night. Oh, we can have a romantic banana session. Oh, we might get a few people in. What do you think? We might do that. Should we have a, a romantic uh, banana party? We'll do that, maybe. 
so anyway yes i shall see you all again very soon until then thank you very much and we are as always fucking bananas <laughs> fucking bananas well i am anyway don't know about anybody else all right guys thank you i'm gonna go and play in the snow and uh smack my son around the head bye have a good weekend i know it's not friday but it is tomorrow bye